Hi, my name is Tyler England and I work for Future Designs Incorporated in Huntsville, Alabama. I'm an associate engineer and today I'm going to be talking about the Synergy S7G2 microcontroller power consumption measurements. Uh, I'll be referencing the app note uh, that Renesis has on power consumption measurement and be showing you how easy it is to not only modify the board so that you can get correct measurement from just the microcontroller but also how easy it is to get that onto software to see how much power your boards are using. So, I've got two boards with me here today, the DK-S7G2 development kit from Renesis Beta Program and the DK, DK-S3A7. Here's the DK-S3A7. Uh, you can see here this is a main board and breakout board. And they come apart like this. Very easy to use. Uh, we've got this board modified already. This is the DK-S7G2 board. Also, we have it modified. You can see there's a ground cable coming off the board. Uh, for these tests, we used the ULP Bench Energy Monitor. Uh, that includes this little board here and their software. Now, each of the Synergy boards has three power domains, digital, analog, and battery. Those are brought out two headers on each of the boards. On the DK-S7, we have a header here and here on either side of the microcontroller, and then a battery header over here above the battery. On the DKS3 board, those, those headers are located here, here, and here. Uh, those are, again are digital, analog, and battery domains. That makes it very easy to not only get whole board power consumption, but to also get, but to also get consumption for just the microcontroller by removing just a few resistors. Uh, this is the cable that is fabricated using the Renesis app note. This is a four header cable, three to one. Uh, it connects to the ULP energy monitor bench device on the 3.3 volt line. The rest of the headers can connect to all three jumpers on every uh, Renesis DK kit that we have. Uh, that allows us to measure all three power domains at once. If you're trying to measure just one power domain, you can just hook up one header. Uh, it will give you a less complete picture, but if you're trying to narrow down power consumption on the different lines, it really gives you a, a way to, to focus in on that line. It really gives you a way to focus in on those lines without having to modify the board too much. So now I'm going to show you what it looks like when everything's hooked up to the DKS7. We'll take our three pin header, we'll connect to jumpers J19, J18, and J20. That now brings the 3.3 volt analog, the 3.3 volt digital, and the 3.3 volt from the battery off the board onto the ULP Energy Benchmark hardware. Uh, this connects with a micro USB to your computer, and then you can use the ULP software to get a complete picture of the energy consumption going on on your development board. Uh, one thing also to note is when you're done testing power consumption to disconnect the ULP hardware from the board and reattach the jumpers, uh, like, like you want them, so you have 3.3 analog and digital and your 3.3 battery. Uh, this allows the board to be programmed and used without harming not only the ULP software, but uh, discharge or anything, because the power consumption will be weird if you've got the con connector hooked up while you are trying to program the board using the J-Link on board. On the S3 board, it's the same resistors, R1, R41, and R42. Now, of course, it only covers these two boards. Other boards may require different resistors. Refer to the application note on MCU power consumption measurement for more information. So, in conclusion, by taking advantage of not only the ULP Bench Energy Monitor software, but the jumpers on the DK kits, we're, we're able to measure low power mode consumption on the MCU. That gives us a clear picture of how much energy our processor is using during development in a low power state. I hope this has been informational for you. If you want more information, visit the Renesis website, check out the MCU Power Consumption App Note, and thank you for watching.